Do you know anyone who loves Justin Trudeau? It's getting harder and harder to find anybody in Canada who does. That's because after nine years, he's broken just about everything in our country. But you know what? It might be hard to find people in Canada who love Justin Trudeau, but he's got some big fans around the world. Let me explain. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Canadian Looney. How bad are things in Canada? Let's take a peek. It's all unraveling right here. MP Andrew Scheer reveals all of Trudeau's international corruption. It's terrifying. Watch this. You know what? It might be hard to find people in Canada who love Justin Trudeau, but he's got some big fans around the world. Let me explain. <laughs> выдавить российских поставщиков, заместить наши энергоресурсы альтернативными поставками, неизбежно отразятся на всей мировой экономике. И что здесь удивляет, так называемые партнеры из недружественной страны. Number one on the list, the entire government of Iran. You see, Justin Trudeau has devastated the Canadian energy sector. Hundreds of thousands of people have lost their job. Billions of dollars of investment have left Canada to develop energy projects around the world. Uh, we can't shut down the oil sands tomorrow. Uh, we need to phase them out. And one country that has seen an explosion in development of their energy sector is Iran. In the last year alone, Iran has boosted its oil production by 20%. They've also announced 50 new oil projects worth a total of over $50 billion. Now this is incredible because it's actually illegal for much of the world to trade with Iran because of sanctions, because of the fact that they fund terrorism. <laughs> In the 2018, Washington pulled out of the JCPOA, the international deal on Tehran's nuclear program. Well, that basically reinstated a very wide net of US sanctions on Tehran, which banned nearly all trade with the country. I mean, consider this. It's illegal for most of the Western world to even do business with Iran. It's illegal for companies to invest and to trade and to buy and sell. Canada has free trade agreements with Europe, North America, most of South America, countries all over the world, and we don't get those investment dollars coming to Canada because Justin Trudeau has made it virtually impossible to develop anything in Canada. Now, it goes without saying that Iran doesn't have anywhere near the same environmental standards that Canada has. They're not worried about international climate change accords. They're not worried about what they put into rivers or lakes in Iran. They definitely don't have any respect for human rights. They fund international terror. They actually take credit for supporting groups like Hamas as they conduct their deadly terrorist activities. This is who Justin Trudeau is helping when he punishes Canadian oil and gas production. And you're a big loser too. It's not just the country as a philosophical concept. Your pension plan, your mutual funds do poorly because they can't invest in projects in Canada because Justin Trudeau won't allow them to proceed. So we lose out on the jobs, the government of Canada loses out on the tax base to fund important services, and your personal savings suffer as well. And remember, it's not like these Canadian oil and gas projects were cancelled because of things like the weather or natural disasters. This is a direct result of Justin Trudeau's policies. That's why every time Justin Trudeau whipped out his pen and cancelled another Canadian energy project, big, big smiles were seen all over the presidential palace in Iran. Very close to the front lines uh, was hit uh, more than a dozen. So. Coming in at number two, Vladimir Putin. Canada's allies in Europe have begged us to sell them our clean, ethical LNG so they can stop buying their energy from Russia. They want to stop sending their dollar to fund Putin's war machine. In fact, Ukraine, Germany, Poland, Greece, Japan, South Korea have all asked us to sell them more energy. Justin Trudeau says there's no business case. One in the, uh, on the global energy 
situation. If it makes sense to export LNG, and if there's a business case for it, to export LNG uh, directly to Europe. When people are lining up outside your door begging to buy what you sell, that is the business case. This would be like a restaurant owner closing at supper time. It makes no sense. That's why Vladimir Putin loves Justin Trudeau's anti-energy policies, because it forces more and more of Europe to stay dependent on Russian oil and gas, funding his war machine and making Canadians poorer. Billions and billions of dollars of potential projects, putting people to work all across the country, boosting pension plans and individual savings, just creating a tremendous amount of prosperity. Canada loses out on all that. Russia gets to keep its customers Keep sending that energy to Eastern Europe. Keep taking all that money to fund its war machine. That's the dynamic that Justin Trudeau has helped create. The next member of Justin Trudeau's global fan club, President Xi of the communist regime in China. Smash the like and give us a subscription. We love making these videos. They're wild. Let's get back to the show. Let me explain. If you're one of the few Canadians that still think the carbon tax is a good idea because it somehow lowers Canadian emissions, first of all, it doesn't. Second of all, all it really does is send investment dollars and production offshore. We used to make stuff in Canada. We used to make appliances and furniture. We used to make way more cars. But over the years, more and more of that production has shifted to China. So when Justin Trudeau says you can pay more for your gas, for your groceries, for your heating bill, and somehow we're saving the environment, consider this. In 2023, coal power capacity in China went up 10% from the year earlier. They're on track to have over 300 coal-fired electrical plants by 2030. Coal. New coal. Remember that every time you pay more carbon tax on your clean natural gas. The communist regime in Beijing doesn't care about environmental standards and a molecule of CO2 does not need a passport to travel around the world. We don't do the planet any favors with a carbon tax that makes life more expensive for you, drives jobs and production and investment to other countries only to see emissions rise thanks to new coal powered electrical plants in China providing the electricity for all the factories making all the stuff that we used to make here. That's the result of Justin Trudeau's policy. You get poorer, the rest of the world gets richer. And don't forget, this isn't like a friendly rivalry with our allies like the US or Great Britain. These are our adversaries. These are regimes that have attacked Canada, whether it's cyber attacks from the PRC or Russia invading Ukraine or Iran funding terrorism. These are countries that hate our way of life, hate our values and want to destabilize Western civilization. Conservatives have a better approach by making Canada strong. We're going to fix what Trudeau's broken by axing the tax, fixing the budget, stopping the crime and building the homes. That's going to improve life here in Canada by unleashing the energy sector, putting men and women across the country back to work, attracting those investment dollars to Canada to make our country richer and those dictators and despots very unhappy. And as always, thanks for watching. We do need an election here in Canada. There's no doubt about that. It will change, hopefully for the better, but I'm not gonna promise that to anybody. I'm just watching and observing, showing fellow Canadians what I see happening. Aaron, Canadian loony, things are loony in Canada, bonkers really. Like, subscribe, share, get notified. Please leave a comment, love that stuff. We'll catch you next video. Thank you for watching this one.